Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight final. Welcome to the ring in the blue corner. Go three for potential three to decide the winner, and it's De Bono that starts with the low kick, replied immediately by Powell. De Bono moving around the ring apron. Powell throws the low kick. De Bono replies immediately. Stamp kick to the thigh from De Bono. Both men just out of range at the moment. Working their way in, as I said, it's a long time. Three three minute rounds. So both just starting to have a look at each other. Low kick, chopping in the inside and the outside of the leg from the mark de bono. Uppercut. Right leg from De Bono as well. Powell looking to take the centre of the ring and force the issue. Marcus Powell said that him and his corner believed he didn't do enough work in the last rap fight. He did win it and it was a legitimate win, but he felt there was lots he could work on and more that he had to do. And you can hear the corner saying to him, you're doing the same as the last fight. They want to see him work more with combinations. De Bono works nicely in combination on the counter, very slick. I don't think he carries real power, De Bono, but he's very slick with his combinations and his timing and movement. Oh, the knee as De Bono slipped. He actually slipped into the knee this time from Powell. Turns and knees himself, takes a right hand for his troubles, De Bono. Nice work again from De Bono. Very slick movement and technique. Marcus Powell's corner 
begging him to come on and work consistently and work in solid combinations. You feel Powell's got the power. And works the inside of the leg of the Bono this time. Chops away at it again. Picking up the pace now, Powell. Chopping away with those low kicks. More work right now from Powell. Hands and feet together. Chops away at the legs of the Bono again. As the round gun has gone on, Powell has got stronger. Oh, beautiful technique from De Bono. And Powell nods as the left leg lands cleanly to his face. Big round suddenly turned on its head for De Bono right at the end of the round. So that's a tall order now for Marcus Powell. De Bono looks slick and assured. Powell started to really pull in to the middle of the round and then got caught clean with that left leg to the face at the end. The eight count is a big round against him now. And have that corner managed to fire their man to get back up into this fight against a very clever technical opponent. Said De Bono, you beautiful technique, beautiful movement. Powell really has to get stuck in now and work. Has to step the pace up. Knee was blocked by De Bono. Powell told to put the pressure on and he needs to. He's got to get a count at least in this round to bring it back round. And he is pushing forward now. Asking questions of his man. Back of the thigh from back of the thigh from Powell. Powell being told to target the lead leg of the Bono. So Powell being urged to come forward and really test. De Bono now targeting the leg once more inside and outside of it to slow De Bono down chopping away again the leg red now of De Bono that lead leg targeted once more and he nods and says yes it's happening trying to protect it now as Powell is relentless in searching for that leg across the bows this time better round for the English fighter De Bono especially on that lead leg so Powell trying to corner De Bono who tries to stay on the move the leg redden now as Powell has targeted it knee attempt from De Bono just scrapes the groin of Powell acknowledged takes that leg again De Bono struggling in this second round after a very good first Powell has come back strongly working and working the legs of De Bono the knee doesn't land from the Frenchman Powell on him again and looking to take the leg once more relentless in his pursuit of the leg this time in the second round takes the thigh and De Bono falls because of it is there still a twist in this one with one more round to go Powell's come back very strongly here in the second and De Bono really trying to protect that leg and once more Powell attacks it the knee in the clinch as well big round for Powell Marcus Powell came back very strongly and really took the lead leg of the Bono he needs a third round just like that because of the eight count in the first so third and final round and a big round for Powell will make this very interesting the Bono looking to come back strongly after that second he'll have known that Powell will have brought it back there's no fight after this they might as well let it all go they've done the hard work getting to the final Powell targeting that leg again 
De Bono looking to try and check again. Kicks doubled up. De Bono just misses with the high point kick to the head of Powell. Powell looking for that leg again. Looking to set it up with the hands. Powell got to target that leg for success now. De Bono slowed. Big knee from Powell. Pushing forward the whole time. Nice turn by De Bono in the kick. He's still dangerous. Good right hand from Powell. Tucks up for the leg. Pushing forward again. Uppercut from Powell. Lands. De Bono smiles at Powell's corner in acknowledgement of the sweet uppercut. And again, the jab from Powell lands clean. And again, De Bono's scoring points with light technique, but Powell is really trying to target this leg now of De Bono. Checks and chops again. The knee from Powell in the, the one strike allowed when they're in the clinch like that. It's going to be very interesting. Because if Powell takes the second and third, 10 8 to De Bono for the first, they might have to do a fourth round to decide this can Powell drag up enough to ensure that he takes the third as well because if he does they'll both go into a fourth round the Bono smiles you get the impression he's enjoying this what a competitor his skill and his technique is not in doubt but Powell has targeted him pushed the legs pushed the kicks and again as soon as De Bono misses with the high kick the low kick to the leg of the Bono and then the knee comes in. Powell tucked up tight, then the knee blocks the head kick from the Bono, comes forward. Both men tired now. Powell coming forward again. De Bono got the movement back, but he takes a knee to the face this time and holds. He shakes his head. Slight bump, well, swelling of a mouse under the right eye of De Bono. And then the knee, right at the break of the third round, cuts De Bono on that mouse. De Bono thinks he's taking it. with me the runner-up in that incredible fight Laurent de Bono and as you can see Laurent is not happy Laurent tell me about this I'm not happy I win it's me it's me but uh, but he's a uh, he's very good fighter uh, no good decision Laurent um, why did you think you were the winner because he, he say uh, to knock down he, he, um, tombé. The knockdown in the first round. Yeah, yeah, one knockdown. And uh, me, uh, hey. Well, you can hear very clearly the reasons Lauren de Bono thinks he's lost. He wants to make it quite clear that he feels Marcus Powell is a great fighter, but he does feel he's won that fight. Whichever way it's gone, ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree that Laurent de Bono has given us great entertainment here tonight. Please, let's hear it for Laurent de Bono from France. Laurent, thank you for your sportsmanship. Thanks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the winner of that fight, Marcus Powell. And can I say first things first, fighters do not judge fights. The judges judge fights. Fighters only participate. And these two men gave us an incredible battle. So please, let's hear it for your champion as well. Now, Marcus, I've talked to our referee, John Blackledge, a very experienced senior referee, and here's where it happened. First round was not 10-8. They felt you were dominating the round until the knockdown, so that made it a 9-8 round, and I think it was clear that the second and third round, you took yourself back off onto your feet and took it all the way. Yeah, um, well, personally, I thought, I thought I, I agree with that decision. 
Um, personally, I thought because of the knockdown, it was going to go extra round. But like my, like my manager, my trainer told me, because I was pressing forward, I was pushing the pace, that won me the fight. And at the end of the day, with a K1 fight, whoever controls the pace, whoever's throwing more shots, they win the fight. So I feel like I threw the more shots, I got the more shots landed, I controlled the pace, so I won the fight. That's how I feel. Now, even if we took it that, as you said, that the first round was to Nate, you showed remarkable resilience. The second and third round, you really pushed forward and an incredible amount, again, of high-scoring low kicks to really take that lead leg. Was that the plan? Yeah, well, obviously the plan wasn't to get knocked down, but after I got knocked down, the plan was just to prep, keep going, push forward. Don't let, don't let the knockdown shake me up. Keep going. And obviously, I was the underdog for the tournament, I know. But if you know me, I know, you know I don't come to play. Red Dragons, we mean business. Well, Marcus, as I said, the controversy is cleared up. You are a worthy winner. Well done and congratulations, champ. Thank you, thank you. First, I want to thank Red Dragons for all the hard training because that, there where I started. I want to thank the Lions Pride team for helping me out for the strength and conditioning. I want to thank Jag MMA for my, my sponsorship. And also want to thank FFC Carbon in, in Holland because they helped me out a lot as well. And lastly, England! England! Well done, Marcus.